Hi all, Pixnoble here. Here I am today, I'm going to show you how to use Eraser Naga within World of Warcraft. Now, there are quite a few steps involved, but the first question I guess that needs to be answered to make sure that you realize why you're doing any of this is why you want to use Eraser Naga in the first place. Uh, if you're still clicking mouse buttons, I mean sorry, still clicking action buttons, I guess this is still kind of you, but I think most people already realize it's it's pretty poor game. But the Naga comes from basically the philosophy that everything should should be keybound, and beyond being keybound, actually accessible. So if you've actually even used, say, a survival hunter. The amount of keys that you have to access are really quite ridiculous. And there we go. Oh, get that pet back up. So, dealing with that pack just then, you saw me use a lot of my class's abilities, and that's only possible while using a Razor Naga and making sure absolutely every single spell that's going to help you, even the odd one, is is bound to a key. So this is my primary rotation and that is bound to my Naga. So this lines up with the, the side panel of my Naga so that that's what I so I use for primary rotation. So the primary rotation is on the Naga. Then I have my pet bound to control and then Naga keys. So I'm controlling my pet most of the time. It is on assist but I am uh, manually using Growl and Venom Web Spray uh, at all times. So I just know Control, Control 4, Control 7, Control 2 to bring him back, Control 1 to attack. It's important to control your pet in raids, but very, very important PvP. Uh, Shift I generally use for utility things. Typically that ends up being close to CC, so you can see the Intimidation here. And then underneath my WASD keys, I've got my uh, buffs, so things I, I need to put on cooldown. Alt, not used so much, uh, admittedly, but they are there. So my Fain Death and uh, Heart of the Phoenix, so you saw me use that there. And a lot of hunters remember that that's available to them, so it's an instant, instant cast. Your pet comes immediately back to life, you don't have to wait, no cast time. And things like Fell Hellstone, super important. So this is really basic, everything should be keybound type stuff. Now you could do this without a Razor Naga, but the key difference is whether or not you're able to continue moving while accessing all of these keys. Uh, so if you had to bind these to say numeric keys and F keys, there's almost no way that you're going to be able to control and keep moving at the same time. So that's the reason why I use it. I suspect it's the reason why a lot of other people use it. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to go through how to set everything up. Now you'll want to open up your Razer software. And uh, you can see I've got a few devices here. But we're in here because I don't want to click that much. Now you can see I don't have any of these set to their defaults. I've got them all set to macros. Now it's just a simple macro macro and all it is doing is pressing down and pressing up and with a delay of 0.100 but importantly it's playing while depressed so continue playing the macro over and over again until it's depressed now what is this macro as I said it's very simple it's pressing the key down and then up and then wait 0.100 so it'll, it'll fire 10 times a second while my mouse is depressed so I'll show you how to make this macro Let's try another one here. Record. Oh, oh okay. Mistake. All right. Let's get rid of that. Uh, record. And then press the key that you want. So it's going to be 1 through to, you know, plus if you're remapping your Naga stuff on the side. Now there's a delay in the middle. I don't want that. I want this to go down and up immediately because it's only on the up that, that WoW actually records, uh, actually takes action. Then I'll put my delay. If you do anything fast and put 100, you might get disconnected, so they might think you're a robot or something. But point 100 should be fine. And then you go in here, and then assign your button to the macro. And again, as I said, you need to be making sure that 
uh, the macro is the macro is to play while depressed. I'll show you in Notepad. Probably a poor example uh, because you can get keep repeating anyway. But as soon as I start clicking within here using the side buttons, it's repeating that button like a, a good old-fashioned turbo turbo keypad. So this means that within WoW, while the GCD is off, you just start pressing. Just just hold it down. Hold your next spell. So if you're going from one to the next to the next. It's a very calm sort of process when you're using your mouse. Um, this will save you a lot of pressure and it will improve your DPS because as soon as that, that thing comes off GCD, your spell will fire immediately. What you'll want to do is get hold of Curse Client. Now, don't go and get like hacked version of it because you want like premium or something like that. Uh, all the hack ones, I'll steal your account, so just don't do it. The official curse client site, download the official client, only use the official client. This is the easiest way to get mods for World of Warcraft. Um, so what you'll want is the Razor Naga mod. This is actually a mod that is a, a modification of the Domino's mod. So I used to use Domino's anyway, the Naga version is just a modified version of that. So if there's an upgrade to WoW and you're finding a Naga not working, you go to Domino's but out of the box, the, the Naga one is set up so it looks more like you're key mapping on your mouse. Alright, and the most important step, actually playing. So, assuming you know how to drop all of your keys into the Raisin Naga mods action bars, uh, drop all your spells in there. So the first thing you need to do is just drop them all in there. Just put all of them on there. You're not going to get used to it uh, unless you actually put absolutely everything on there and then you'll quickly realize, oh I need that spell, and you'll make mistakes the first time, but you'll get there. This guy stupidly just rushed straight in multiple times. He doesn't survive, but... Uh, I see anyway. I had a hell of a hard time lining up the, um, the use of Naga and the gameplay, actually. Um, but you can see that when I'm doing my rotation on the Naga, it's actually very, very subtle. I'm not going nuts tapping away like crazy, because uh, of one, I'm using the macro. Two, you just don't need to. The GCD is like, you know, one second. It's no big deal. Um, but more importantly, I've got access to everything that I need to do and WASD at the same time. So being able to move while DPSing or while in PvP, you're always trying to improve your position. Uh, and in in PvE, you know, being able to move at any given time of drop of the hat, it's really important in, in a lot of fights these days in, in raids. Um, as a hunter, uh, you're one of the only range class that gets to run around like an idiot, just consistently every single every single uh, spell we've got, we can just fire on the move. So usually find me as long as there's nothing to avoid in particular I'll just keep moving anyway so sort of like good practice and and that really is the key is keep practicing the things that are the hardest for you uh, one of the things that I had to make sure that you know I never did again was I sort of got very comfortable backpedaling backpedaling is always the the slowest way to go so I've, I've got backpedal completely unbound uh, backpedal is uh, completely unbound and I use disengage so it took a very long time to get that out of me but to move back now I turn the camera to the side straight left straight right just never never move slow if you've got the option to move fast move fast so I hope this uh, little step-by-step -step guide was useful um, as I said you don't really need a Naga mouse if you find that you can continue moving 100% of the time while doing everything else that you need to do, um, uh, upload a video. I think a lot of people would love to see it. Otherwise, you know, get a Naga or that Logitech G400, I think it is, uh, if you're really serious about MMOs. Uh, I find it extremely useful. I used to use a, a Z-Board Fang, which had about 45 keys on your left hand, which is, which is good. But the real problem is if you're using keys in the left hand um, heavily, there's just no way that you're going to be able to move as efficiently. Just, I, I don't see it. Let me know in the comments what you do. Uh, 
I don't want to hear in the comments any arguments that you don't actually need most of these keys. It's, it's not really about whether or not using X keys 90% of the time, it's that if you have it bound, you're going to survive that one more time. And, and everything counts. Uh, every little bit counts when you're trying to make everything everything work. Um, if nothing else, uh, I hope the, the ability to, to macro um, and just do that rapid fire thing is, uh, is useful. It just means that there's no wasted time between shots. And uh, let me know how you go. See you guys around.